Let's try that. Here we go. Sorry about the glitch there, folks. Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is a little bit different broadcast. This morning, tonight, we'll give a full report at 9 p.m. Eastern Time live. Lots of going on, lots to talk about, more internal channel stuff more than anything, but very important nonetheless. Uh, let's take a look at our space weather, shall we? Um, taking a look at spaceweather.com. Solar wind speeds coming in at 346.8 kilometers per second with a density of 13.4. AR2758, weak sunspot number 13. It's grown just a little bit. It was sunspot number 11 when this first emerged a couple of days ago. But we are sitting at 50 days without sunspots. Still 72% of 2020 is without sunspots right now. AR2758 is small with 13 sunspots. Uh, checking out our TCI 3.81, that's dropping just a little bit. And our KP indices at a 1, and the 24-hour max is at a 2. And check out this still shot of our star right now. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. It is peppered with minor coronal holes. Uh, so this is not going to be like a giant increase of solar wind, but we will have disruptions in the magnetic field. Uh, they are talking about possibly on the 10th or the 11th, so that's tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, but other than that, space weather has been pretty, pretty quiet. Um, so one sunspot of thir uh, count as 13 on it. It's pretty minor. Uh, so we had a pretty long run of 34 days in a row without sunspots, uh, which is pretty deep. That's one of the second large, uh, second longest period of time without sunspots back like that, uh, since I think 2016. So Continuing to watch the sun as far as for solar activity, still awaiting this minimum to conclude, which it has not yet. Uh, we think the bottom of this minimum is coming up here, especially April. We will start to see conditions uh, improve for as far as solar activity over the next year to two years. So let's move on as we have a little bit of an update before I do a weather. Um, I want to talk quickly about uh, Professor Valentina Sarkova we were awakened this morning. Uh, Mari has a pretty good working relationship with Valentina. And uh, apparently the university has basically taken down her staff website. If you scroll down here where it says email Valentina, right where qualifications, key publications, PGR supervision, all that stuff right there, there was a staff website that had her work and everything else that her and her staff has been doing. That has been taking off of the university's website. And what is going on here is this all stems back from the retraction of her, pa of her paper from uh, nature.com. Now the university, because and listen, uh, they've caught a lot of flack from Zarkova's paper. Um, and the, the biggest thing is that it's like you can't please anybody, but her paper acknowledges natural warming by solar inertial motion. And then it also addresses the cooling period that we're going to be facing uh, between now and the 2050s. So there's two things right there that goes against what um, mainstream's narrative, which is man-made global warming, man-made climate change. The sun does not have an impact on our climate, according to mainstream. So now, not only has uh, the nature.com retracted the article, which by the way, it's still available on the website. It just has a note retracted on March 4th. Um, but now the her own university that she has been working at very hard for several years has now taken away her staff website. And uh, thankfully, Mari um, has everything pretty much taken care of in that department. Uh, Mari had been working very closely with Valentina, working on her site for her, uh, for her school website. And there were plans in the future uh, that Mari was going to build a website for Valentina just in case for such things like this. Now, obviously, we thought we were probably okay once the paper was accepted and put into nature.com. So there wasn't an urgency to build that other website. Well, thankfully, Mari has everything that she needs to rebuild her website. Um, that's the beauty of uh, backups, right? But anyway, uh, so be on the lookout for that. Mari is going to be building Valentina's website, getting it back up online again. 
Unfortunately, her school is dropping her because they are probably facing some kind of pressure with mainstream narrative and the fact that the school isn't dropping. Like she still works at the school. No, I said she's. They're dropping the website. Yeah. I didn't say dropping her. They're dropping her work off of her website because of an unfortunate uh, misunderstanding of science. Basically. Let's just say Valentina is not a part of the money train for the science community because of all the federal dollars that goes into researching climate change and natural, uh, you know, climate change. Papers like what Valentina Zarkova released this past summer basically goes against policies like Green New Deal, shows that the Green New Deal is nothing for climate change. It does nothing for any of it. All it does is make money for these people that are, you know, responsible for implementing this policies. So people like Valentina and ourselves here at the Grand Solar Minimum channel are going to be censored. Um, unfortunately, uh, people like uh, Lee Wheelbarger, who is completely banned off of Twitter, his knowledge and information, uh, he seems to resonate pretty well with the community. A lot of people trust his information, but he also faces censorship. Um, others out there, we haven't heard from John Casey in a long time. We know it's a health condition that he had. We got to talk to him uh, three years ago, almost this past summer will be three years now coming up. And uh, unfortunately, John had a very unfortunate health situation. And uh, we haven't heard from him since. We do know from people in the community like David Dubine, who has reported that he is doing well and he is communicating once again to certain people. But uh, it sounds like he's retired from the kind of work that he was doing before his major stroke. So censorship is working in all certain shapes and forms right now for anyone who comes out against Green New Deal policies, anyone who's against the thought that there's a chance that cl climate change is man-made, uh, that they are clamping down right now. And that goes along with what this channel has been through over the last several months. Ever since we've actually talked about Valentina's paper uh, we've also seen attacks on our, our our website, our YouTube channel. So they're doing a really good job right now, putting putting the squeeze on people who are promoting this work, who believe in this work, and who are actually trying to push the real science. Uh, that is messing up their narrative, and we are really, really coming under attack. Not just Zarkova, uh, her mainly, but most of us in this community have seen uh, a few forms of censorship in one way or the other. All right, we'll give a more uh, in-depth report on that. I just, I got minor details. Mari woke up this morning. She's been working on it since. So I don't have the full story, but tonight uh, Mari and I will talk about it. I'll bring her on and we'll talk about the progress and what's to be expected of the future of her website. But again, Zarkova still works for the university. She still has her profile up on the website. They just took down her staff site, which has all her work on, which now Mari will be working on to get back up. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at some weather stats real quick for today. Actually, I'm not gonna go into too much here. I'm just gonna go ahead and show us um, what the weather map is calling for today. As I'll show you, we got a pretty big system across the Midwest, moving across in the Ohio Valley into the Northeast by later tomorrow. Beautiful weather, by the way. Now, this is for today. I, I find this hard to believe, but there is some absolutely beautiful weather out right now. It's 59 degrees here in upstate New York. Spring feels like it's here. Um, this is tomorrow's map, what Noah thinks might happen. Rain across most of the United States, except for the northwestern corner. Showers and storms across the south. A cold front dipping in across the Plain States. And by the time we get to Wednesday, well, it looks like nothing's really changing. The South is going to stay saturated this this uh, week for sure, though, folks. And we'll show you that here in the tropical tidbits as I move over to the GFS part of this broadcast. Here we go. So let's take a look at some of this rain that we have moving through across the middle part of the United States. Pretty heavy to moderate stuff. Nothing too crazy, but flood watches are possible right now as we are watching the storm system move across Illinois into Indiana and Ohio. Uh, snow and ice on the Canadian side of this. The south, again, nothing major, but just more rain. And like that, the GFS has crashed. 
So now it's only showing me data through March 11th. I just looked at the extended forecast. So let's go to the logo real quick and see if I could refresh this real quick, guys. I do apologize. This was just up right before we went live. Another reason why we are going to have a show tonight. Yeah. So I'm having problems with Tropical Tidbits and its forecast models right now. I'm not going to be able to show you anything past what we just talked about through the Monday or the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday forecast. Just know we're going to have a good chance of rain also in Southern California as well by mid part of this week. So a lot of folks talking about drought conditions returning to Southern California. That's not going to be the case at all, uh, in my opinion, just looking at what we have coming this way. So we'll give a better report on the weather uh, later tonight. We'll have some Grand Solar Minimum related news. And I'll have more for you guys talking about Zarkova's website, what Mari plans on doing, and how we are going to approach this. And as far as the channel update, uh, Mari and I are banging, I don't know, banging heads trying to figure out how to make this channel more, um, I don't know, more easily accessible to more than just YouTube. Uh, the, the message is just being suppressed here on this Google platform, unfortunately. And uh, we're very sad about that because there's a lot of good information that this channel provides. There's a lot of great people who are a part of this community, people that are in the chat right now, people who are paid members of the YouTube and the Patreon channels. We've got a brilliant group of supporters here, guys, and we want to broaden that. We want to make it bigger. And uh, I, I think it's important. Uh, there's a lot of very practical conversations that happen in our chats during these live shows. So that's another thing that we're not going to cut out is live shows. Mari and I talked about just premiering the videos, but there is a certain interaction with you guys in that chat while we're doing these shows. And there's useful, help, helpful tips about gardening, storing, prepping, uh, people reporting weather conditions from all over the world while they're in the chat. So we're going to try to do more things that help get the community more involved uh, and, and more, uh, I, know, I can't figure out the words I'm trying to say, Mari, but uh, more interactive, I guess, with our with our community members. All right, guys, we'll be back tonight at 9 p.m. with a full Grand Solar Minimum update. Just wanted to come on real quick and give you guys a heads up on what's going on with Zarkova's site and a quick weather update. Obviously, that didn't really happen as well as I'd liked it to. So until later tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern time, guys, we will talk soon. Take care. Do you like this show? Give us a thumbs up. Want to support us more? Share to your favorite social media platform. Buy a t-shirt or become a Patreon. All links are in the description below.